triangles. Have we all heard of these before? How many sides are congruent if I have an isosceles triangle? Two sides are congruent. We call those two sides legs. Okay. The angle up here, so this angle up here is called the vertex. Okay. My base angles, so two and three, are my base angles because they are across from my congruent sides. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if my two sides are congruent, then my base angles are congruent. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. So if my, my two sides, the angles opposite my two sides are going to be congruent. Okay. And then the opposite is true too. If my two angles are congruent, then the sides across from moles are going to be congruent. Make sense? Can I start up? Okay, so if I have JKL, okay, my two congruent sides are here, right? What two angles are congruent? J and L, both are my base angles. So if L is 68, what's J? 68. Get yeah, out your calculators if you can't do 180 minus in your head. Okay, so if this is 68, next 68 came with you. 46. Okay, so we're going to have 180 minus 68 minus 68. Okay. Alright, so. If CD and DE are congruent, what are my base angles? So I'm looking at these. Give me some letters that are my base angles. My two congruent angles are C and E. Yep, because those are opposite of my congruent sides. So if D is 106, how many degrees do I have left? 74. 74? So I have 74 degrees to work with, and we know C and E have to be equal to each other. So I'm going to divide that by 2, and what is it, 37? So both of them have to be 37 degrees. Okay, so in this one, if X is 77 and V is 77, what two sides are congruent? X, X what? X, Y would be congruent to Y, Z. So that means Y, Z is 12 centimeters. And that leaves how many degrees left over for angle Y? 26? Alright, so if these two sides are congruent, what do I know about these two angles? They're congruent. So, 5x plus 9 equals 8x minus 30. Move these guys over. 3x equals 39, right? x equals 13. Okay, if these two sides are congruent, what do I know about the angles? They're congruent. Do I have to do that one? Is it good? Are you sure? Alright. If these two angles are congruent, what do I know about those two sides? They're congruent. So 15x plus 7 equals 23x minus 17.
important it is to draw your picture. So just by reading that, do you have any idea of like what your base angles and that good stuff is? Not really, right? So if you draw your triangle, at least you can picture it. So R S T, you know that R P is congruent to S T. Now what angles are congruent? What? Okay, so, well, we're talking about angles now. Well, because we know that it tells us that RT is congruent to ST, so I already marked that. So R and S are congruent. Right? We're in trouble. Alright, so R and S. Are congruent, what can I do with those two? Set them equal to each other. So 9x plus 2 equals 13x minus 18. 4x equals 20. Right? X equals 5. So x is 5. How am I going to get my angles? I have x. How do I find my angles? Plug them in. Plug them in. Okay, so 9 times 5 is plus 2, or 7. 13 times 5, minus 18. 47, okay, 17 times 5, plus, which one was? 85, plus 1 is 86. Okay, so you got to plug them in. Okay, let's see how we do here. We've got D, E, F. Says that angle D is congruent to angle E. So what sides are going to be congruent? EF and FD are congruent. So let's find EF and DF. Because DF is the same as FD, right? Yeah, okay. So what do I do with those two? Those two each other. Equilateral, it's equal angular. It's equal angular, it's equilateral. 
Okay? Alright, so how many degrees are in a triangle? 180. And if all three angles are the same, all three angles have to be 60. 60. So if A is 60, B is 60, C has to be 60. Okay? If A, B is 9, what's B, C? 9, what's A, C? 9. Okay? This says all three sides are congruent. That automatically means all three angles are 60. Yes, congruent and 60 degrees. Okay, if I'm doing this guy, how am I going to do x? 7x minus 3 equals what? 60. All three angles have to equal 60, no matter what. So 7x equals 63, x equals 9. Okay, there's three sides with y on it. What do I know? They're all three congruent. So, can I just pick two sides? Yep. Yep, 9y minus 59. No, just kidding. 9y, try to pick the ones that actually match up. 9y plus 1 equals, it doesn't matter which one you pick, you can pick 14y minus 59 or 11y minus 23. I picked that because it was smaller numbers and it's easier to work with smaller numbers in my head. 2y equals 24, y equals 